Good morning. Have you filled a bucket today? Empathy while in Martins and now to grow it. Last week, I came across a young woman who recently lost her husband and she has three kids. She was so helpless. She needed somebody to talk to. You know what I did? I gave her a big hug. Empathy involves understanding the emotions of others, feeling the emotion and responding appropriately to it. Some people are good at understanding emotions of others, but not at feeling them or commenting on them, which is very, very important as we go in our journey in life. Empathy can go a long way in, biz- in the business world, and it is one of the most important soft skills to acquire and use daily. It builds leadership, improves work environment, and strengthens relationships. Organizations that use this empathetic approach will see higher productivity. Remember that children learn empathy growing up. If you ask a child psychologist which character traits are important for child development, empathy and kindness will rank first. So it's important for parents to explain their own emotions. Lack of empathy isn't easy to detect, but there are few signs like being extremely critical of others, blaming the victim, not forgiving, not listening to others' opinion, lack of patience to other reaction or emotion. How empathetic are you? Ask yourself these following questions. Do you have a hard time picking up on the emotions of people around you? Is it hard to imagine how you would feel if you were in others' situation? Do you stop listening to others if you don't agree with them? Those are the questions that will help you. Lack of empathy can have a number of effects like problems with relationships with other people. You can feel that, yeah, these people are not understanding me and it feels, it makes it very, very difficult to form bonds in group, society. And then not being able to understand where others are coming from can make communication difficult, causing mis- misinterpretation most times of what you're saying, what others understand about what you're saying, causing conflict, damage relationship. Lack of empathy also feel make people engage in pro- social action. Like when people need assistance, you can't pick it because you are not empathetic. You don't need who need support around you. You are just there staring at people. How do you develop empathy? Observe. Spend time noticing what other people are doing and think about the emotions and how you feel towards that same situation. We help you know and develop a good it help you develop good empathy. Make an intentional effort to listen to what other people are saying. You are not just listening, but you are listening to understand. In addition to paying attention to what others are saying, take a look at their body language, their tone, you know how they are reacting. Then don't jump to finish people's sentences. Practice pause. Don't interrupt people. Even when you want to offer advice, just hold on. Let people finish what they want to say. This can stand in the way of empathy. Pause before you speak. Pause before you respond or your action. Spend time identifying and labeling your own emotional responses. It can be challenging understanding others' feelings if you're struggling to recognize yours and the effect it has on your behavior. Practice showing yourself empathy. Show it to yourself first. Communication plays an important role in empathy. This ability will allow people to engage with others, respond with supportive behavior, which can help people have better experience and better express empathy. Be open and be vulnerable. Learn how to tolerate even the most stressing people around us. Tolerate them. This can forge um, stronger connections. When you turn, when you show 
when you're open to your emotions. How to respond when people lack empathy. Try not to take it personally. Most people take things personal this day. Just try not to. It's not your fault they lack empathy. It's not your fault whatever is happening is happening around them. Just try not to take it personal. Let it go. It's not your fault. Don't seek emotional validation from others. Mm -mm. It's not a good sign. Fine, you want to be seen, you want to be heard, you want to be understood, but people who lack empathy will not see that. You understand? So, the people like that just accept who they are. People can build empathetic skills. Yes, it is easy to build empathetic skills. Don't talk to yourself. Instead, be supportive. If you feel that this situation cannot be changed and it is affecting your health, it is affecting how you're connecting with people, simply take a walk. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be in that situation. Just take a walk and you'll feel a lot better when you do so. Don't expect them to change instantly. People don't change like that. They need time to change. Some people are genetically inclined. Some people are genetically inclined to have high empathy. It depends on their environment. It depends on the home which they grew up in. So if it, it's emotional intelligence is something that we can develop over time. But most importantly, it is important that we teach children empathy. Even as parents, discuss your emotions with them. Let them know if, if there are certain events happening and you feel it could, be, it could be a sad event, it could be painful, let them understand what emotions is from the very beginning. You are actually sowing a seed into their lives. And lastly, yes, adults can develop empathy, but try in your daily living to make a bucket full. Thank you for listening. I'm so sorry for the technology car issues. I can take your questions now.